Hi, my name is Andrea with AndreaCrisp.com and today I'm going to share with you one of um, my favorite things to make at home that is super simple and easy and ends up um, getting me a lot of comments from guests. So basically that's going to be foaming hand soap. And it's really simple and I use doTERRA certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils which make it smell wonderful and makes it good for you and anytime anyone is visiting and uses our bathroom or washes their hands in our sink in the kitchen I always get comments about how great the soap smells and people want to know what's in that soap I love it and it doesn't matter I use different oils um, almost every time because I'm always experimenting with the scents and people always love it so how do you make it and why is it so easy? We only need a few ingredients. Basically, distilled water is the main ingredient and I highly recommend using distilled water instead of just regular sink water or even filtered water. Anytime you're making personal care products that call for water, you want to use distilled water. Um, distilled water is a hungry water and so it actually blends um, better with things because there's nothing in it except for H2O. But also, because there's nothing in it except for H2O, you're going to have less of a chance of any type of contamination, which is sometimes a problem when you're using um, or making things yourself at home because you don't have all the preservatives and icky chemicals that make the stuff in the store last on the shelf for eons. So um, the other thing you're going to need to get is some type of liquid vegetable soap. And Dr. Bronner's Castile soap is the most common that people are familiar with. There are different scents that you can get. This one has peppermint in it already, um, but you can get one that is actually completely unscented and then you can um, really experiment and use any, any oils. When I blend this one because it has peppermint, I make sure that I'm using other essential oils that go really well with peppermint. This is another brand that I came across here locally and it has lemongrass in it already so I'm going to, to basically use that scent as a base and then blend in some other essential oils that also smell really good with lemongrass. And then the final thing is you need your essential oils. Now I highly recommend doTERRA certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils but you definitely just want to make sure that you're using a high quality therapeutic grade essential oil and not using one of the, the, the cheaper brands that is probably going to have some kind of synthetic properties to it as well because essential oils are really a, around because of the perfume industry and the perfume industry is more interested in the smell. They don't actually care about the quality and so because of that a lot of essential oils can be cut with synthetic chemicals and are not completely 100% natural and pure. And so you want to make sure you're looking for something that is um, a therapeutic grade. And then the final thing that you need is you need the container. And because this is a foaming hand soap and the, the base is really water with just a little bit of soap, you need to make sure that you have one of these containers that has the mechanism that makes the, the soap foam. And so you can see it's a much um, thicker mechanism. It's not just a regular pump that's in this. This is one that I purchased just at my health food store. It was a dollar something I think and it's a, a small size. They actually have a, a really large one that's kind of the industrial kitchen size one and then this is actually an old dial soap container so I, it had foaming hand soap, dial hand soap years ago and I've just been reusing it on my own and then eventually decided oh wait I could put essential oils in this so that was the very first thing that I made. The problem with either of these is that they're plastic and so I've been on the hunt for months and months to try and find something that was actually glass because I prefer anytime I'm making my homemade products to store everything in glass because I'm trying to get away from chemical exposure and there are chemicals in plastic and essential oils can actually break down petrochemical based products that, like plastic. So. Um, in walks this beautiful container that I finally found. So just recently I found this container and I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond and it's a glass container and as the sticker says, I am foaming. So when you go to Bed Bath & Beyond or if you're on their website and you're looking, you want to make sure that it's listed as the one that's a, a foaming soap container because there was a container um, that was very similar to this. I think it was even made by the same company that was just a, a regular container that you could put lotion or soap in. 
but didn't have that foaming action, didn't have the mechanism built into it. So you want to make sure that you're, you're getting that when you're looking. And then it's really simple. You basically are going to just unscrew the lid and get out your distilled water. And you want to make sure that when you're filling this up, that you're not going to end up covering up this mechanism. So you want to leave a little bit of space in whatever container you're using. But you end up putting in mostly water. And then a little bit of soap. And you don't have to measure, but you end up putting in maybe a tablespoon, maybe a couple tablespoons. I'm almost done with this bottle, so I'm just going to get the rest of it out of there and use that up. And then you can see when I put that in, there's still, still some room for that mechanism there. And then now, this one has peppermint, so it smells a little bit already, but I am going to add some other smells to it. So I've got my doTERRA rosemary, and I'm going to put in just a couple of drops. Rosemary is pretty strong smelling. So I just put in a few drops of that, and then I'm also going to be putting in a few drops of basil as well, and, and blending those smells all together. And then you screw in the lid. And then you just want to agitate it a little bit. You don't want to really shake it, because you can already see it's foaming up in there a little bit already. And then you just start to push. And you get out oh, your foaming soap. And that already smells pretty good. Got some on my nose. Um, so I think I'm going to stop there. Sometimes the first time I, I pump the soap out and I smell, it's not strong enough. So you might need to put a few more drops in. But I always start with less and then add more if I need to. And you're done. It's that simple. Now I'm going to go wash my hands and my nose. Thanks so much. Bye.